Hello and welcome to GNN News at 7. Lots of news happening in the world today, but first, more on the developing stories coming out of North Africa. Riots and heavy protesting broke out in the North African country of Sangala today, as locals claimed an entire village was killed by what we believe to be Somali rebels, though some protesters claim otherwise. Aaron, what is your take on this developing situation? There's obviously a lot of chaos and confusion right now. But one thing we know for certain is that the Somalis could not have been acting alone. There had to be someone else involved. Hank? Which time do you like better? No, no. Let me see the other one. No, I think I like Ah, Jack, my boy. Good to see you. I was just asking Hank here which tie you prefer for tonight's debate. I've come across some very distressing news. Oh, is that so? Why don't you show what's troubling you? It's about that village that was slaughtered a few days ago. Well then, well let's hear it then, Jack. I'd rather hear it from you. Now, now wait just a minute. I know what happened in Sangala. I saw the operation files myself. It was you, sir. My only question is why? How could the United States government have a hand in the slaughter of all those innocent civilians? Is that what you do when people don't suit your own political agenda? You just massacre an entire village? Men, women, and children? All for a goddamn oil pipeline? Enough. Do you have any idea what that pipeline has done, son? I made it to single-handedly stabilize the entire, the entire region thanks to that precious pipeline you blamed for the deaths of all those people. I don't blame the pipeline, sir. I blame you. Those are just casualties of war, son. The world ain't right, so we start taking back control. And that means doing what needs to be done. Besides, it's not like I was the one pulling the trigger. Your signature, your orders. Do you think I don't know the value of a life? Do you? If I hadn't done what I did, the Somalis may have very well done the same thing, but a thousand times over. Is that what you want, Jack? No, I took it for myself to make the hard decisions, for the good of the country and others like it. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but you're not going to get away with this. Jack, get back here. Don't be a fool, Jack. Jack! I'm the goddamn President of the United States! I make the rules! I need you, I need you to take care of something. We, we have a situation. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's debate will focus on foreign policy featuring America's strained relationship with Israel, humanitarian aid, and the growing crisis in North Africa. <laughs> Mr. President, you won the coin toss, so we'll start with you. What course of action would you take to assist Sangala in finding and bringing justice to the group of rebels who decimated one of the villages near the Somali border. Well, I would take every action possible uh, to help others that need it. America has always been a beacon of light and hope for third world countries like Sangala, which makes it our God-given right to intervene on their behalf. America's responsibility to keep to the ideals that 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 make us America. I'm sorry, sir, but that still doesn't answer the question. President? Mr. President, are you alright? Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. 